boxing match becomes a crucible of will. It can only be described as a war. It's a simple yet telling analogy. After all, there is nothing more visceral or existential than two men battling for the future of a sport. Javante Davis's goal of becoming a three-division world champion at only 26 is ambitious. Yet as fight week begins, he remains composed. Yeah. I can get focused very quick. Like, it don't take that much for me to get focused. You get nervous. Everybody get nervous. When you're on a big stage, just come with it. Once I do that ring walk, it's out the window. Till we in that situation, till we in that ring together and I'm looking at him face to face, then that's when I know that if he's ready for it or not. Step in that ring that night, it's locked down. He told Javante Tank Davis, he said, you bit off more than you can chew. That's what he told me. He said he picked the wrong one. He made a mistake. That's how I want him to look. That's how the fight gonna be. For all the spoils of their success, Davis and trainer Calvin Ford have chosen a base in Atlanta that resembles their roots. The mission at Mustafa's boxing is bigger than the sport, keeping at-risk youth on a positive path. This is where the grind is really at. You know what I'm saying? No fancy jump. Me coming here, I was excited, you know, because it made me remember how we started. People got to understand the kids. When they're around us, man, we keep them safe. Give them something, give them something to look forward to. Coming here, being around the kids, being around the youth, get them saying it gives them hope because I'm watching them, looking at them in their eyes. Everybody got their dream. When I say fight week, what y'all say? Fight week! 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 For Mario Barrios, the opportunity to headline a pay-per-view was both welcomed and unexpected. The offer materialized while he was training for another fight. So the presence of his family is soothing. After nearly three months away at camp. You know it's hard to travel. Uh, you've, been, you've been waiting to, to use your backpack and your little luggage thing, right? Yep. You yeah. like the dancers? Yes, they're nice. They're awesome. <laughs> Where are we going next? And it's just like you. It is? Getting here into this moment was, it's a surreal feeling. Growing up, we always dreamt of, you know, actually, you know, seeing each other fight on pay-per-view and actually making it. And for the first time, like, actually seeing my brother on billboards and just posters and, like, headlining, like, you know, Davis versus Barrios, like, that's a, an amazing feeling. We're expecting a spectacular performance for Mario come Saturday evening. Definitely uh, got the WBA belt. It's on board, it's flying with us. And God willing, it'll be flying back with us. What tools do you have that gives you your biggest confidence going into this fight on Saturday? All of them. I'm just as good of a fighter, just as explosive, just as fast. Tank, same question to you. You know I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, I already mean, know. So. Let's go, let's go, y'all. Clap it up for him, y'all. Clap it up for him. Javante has a huge name, you know, in this, you know, just in the world of sports. And this is the type of fight that will elevate my name. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. That's it for me. I can't show too much. <laughs> I'm ready to get uh, the fans what they want to see, and that's a great fight. No doubt about it, Tank is by far, you know, the, the toughest test. 
and um, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to, um, to be successful on Saturday. They have big plans for him, and um, I fully intend, you know, on those plans uh, come Saturday. He is the reigning WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Mario Barrios. He is the challenger. He is undefeated. He'll be seeking his third division world title, Gervonta Tank Davis. What I love the most, Tank touched that belt and claimed it. That's what we did. Byers didn't try to knock his hand down, he just moved it. You know, he don't want it. He showed me he don't want it. He got to show me now how bad he want it. I already know how bad Shorty want it. You know, it's more than just that belt with him now. He feeling it now. He believing it now. He know it now. The eyes of the sporting world are on the ATL and State Farm Arena. It's boxing in the spotlight. Undefeated champions on a collision course with destiny. What the fuck you talking about? Holla. Hey, hey. Gervonta Tank Davis says he's chasing greatness as he moves up two weight classes to challenge the WBA super lightweight champion, Mario Barrios. Where we come from, you know, nobody really wants you to have nothing. Gervonta is different. He carried the city on his back every day. I hope Mario had a good night's sleep with this belt because he won't never see it again. This is a huge opportunity for Barrios in the big stage. If it win tonight for Barrios, you know, we'll practically make him a superstar. It's an amazing feeling. And then for him to be my brother, because I know firsthand everything that he's gone through. It was a tough, like, road leading up to this point, but he made it. It's your time to step up. You'll know, take it to the next level. Let's do it. I'm with you. Yeah, let's do it. Congratulations on all your stuff, man. Hey, boy, Dr. J in the house. Okay. Good luck, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, everybody is wondering how this fight gonna be, you know? Everybody's saying, oh, Tank gonna knock him out. Oh, Burris is gonna keep his reach. He's gonna do what he gotta do. That night, you got two warriors going in that ring. You know what I'm saying? You got two corners figuring out how to beat that guy. You know, but I know my guy. I know him. I've raised him. He's been built for it tough. So it is what it is. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for, the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. It's time for Davis versus Barrio. WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Mario El Azteca Barrios. The Aztec warrior, Mario Barrios. He hopes to beat Gervonta Tank Davis like a drum. The question is, is Mario Barrios going to use his strength and his size to jump right on Tank? Here is the challenger, the three-time two-division undefeated world champion, know what it is. Gervonta Tank Davis. Yes! Come on, son! Yes! Expectations are indeed high with Gervonta Tank Davis.
appearing to be great against by far the biggest opponent he's faced, Mario Barrios. And still! How are you? Oh, you got this! Lock this down here. Someone's always got to go here in the ATL. The bell in round one. Davis telling us, despite all of the hype, with his prodigious power in the lower weights, that he thinks this is a fight where he is going to showcase his sweet science, which I know will make his mentor Floyd Mayweather smile. Good defense, there you go. Good defense, give me good defense. Check your time and check your distance. Oh, right hand got through the guard by Barrios. Barrios goes to the body with a right hand. Left hook, right hand through the guard. Good combination. There you go, there you go. Let's go, Ty. Neither fighter has ever been down in their respective pro careers. There it is. Overhand left by Davis. Watch your head, Mario. Keep aiming at that nose. And Davis getting pressure by Barrios. Woo, he got that body shot. Woo. Don't give him nothing free, here. Eh? Good round, son. Good round. Barrios goes to the body with the left hook. Sticks a sharp jab. We still don't know if Davis brought up the power all right. the way to 140. Right there. Come on, where you at, boy? Let's go. Woo! Back him up as much as possible. Good job. Feeling no. good? Yes, sir. Anything bother you? No. OK, good job. How you doing? How you feeling? Listen, turn everybody out, man, and get to your zones. Stay yeah. Out, yeah. yeah. Stay. I got you. At this juncture, it is, the onus is kind of on Gervonta Davis now to somehow change the script a little bit. There's that left hook to the body, right hand, upstairs combination. That's positive. That's positive. Virgil Hunter seems to be a good fit for the Aztec Warrior. Barrios is leaning in just a little bit more in this round. He's making himself a little bit more of an appealing target. Come on, Javante. Get this bitch. Good head movement and footwork by Barrios to avoid Davis' attack. Go, Pins, get a plan. Davis still putting on the pressure. There's a right hook to the body by Davis. Left hand upstairs. <laughs> and Barrios stands his ground. at you, okay? He's only fighting in spurts. Davis continues to walk down Barrios, hoping to find an opening for that left hand just like that. Another left hand by Davis. Let's get it! Make him work, Ted. Make him work a little bit more. Let's go! Barrios now the man going backwards. Break it! He knows! Break it! No! Breaking down to the body. I'm telling you what's going on. I'm here for you. Floyd Mayweather continues to add his advice. Unofficial scores, Steve Farley. I have Barrios clearly ahead at this point at the halfway mark. Davis has not yet pressed on the pedal. He still has not pressured Barrios. Do work! You got this! This is yours! You're doing good. We need these last two rounds, OK? You got this fight, Mario. You got this fight. Over the top! Over the top! Round number eight. Whoa!
team. This fight is not over. Yeah. And it's not over. It's not over. Pull yourself together. Pull I got yourself it. I got together, it. Good. Okay? Yes, fight Dang, smart. Fight smart. But you got to hurt him. You got to hurt him, okay? Yeah. You, you got it within you, son. Got to hurt him. Well, Virgil Hunter said that, I think, to pump up Barrios, but <laughs> he's hoping it's true. No, Barrios looks alert. He's alert. He knows he's still in this fight. Come on, champ. Come on. Barrios' corner wants him to unload with Davis on the ropes. There's the left hook. Don't get lazy. Don't get lazy in there. So after going down twice in the eighth, Barrios with some of his best work here in the ninth. Listen. Two, two, two. Stop here, honey. That's how you get the head. I need, I need this 10th, 11th, and 12th on an unofficial. He's down. Okay. okay. He said unofficial. On an unofficial. unofficial. I got to be honest hey. with you. That's what you want, that you want from me. Hey, that's what you want from me. You don't want nobody lying to you. So I'm 100 with you. He said on an unofficial, not the real card, here. Yeah? Keep picking your shot. You took that round off, here. Yeah? That's my job. I'm 100 with you. Well, that was fascinating, that whole exchange. Now, these are two very important rounds for both yes. Davis and Barrios. I agree. Oh, double left hook, one to the body, one upstairs for Barrios that lands. The ebb and flow, the give and take. Terrific stuff here. Barrios continues to work the body. He scored. Oh boy, yeah. They both have the moments. Oh, oh, beautiful left hook, left hook, right hand. But then Davis comes back and clocks Barrios. Under 30 seconds remaining, Barrios doesn't want to get into that final fight. And Davis fight demands that he's bringing it on. The exchange of body shots and then another second left that scores for Davis. Thunder is 10th round in the left hook.
That's gonna be a shame that you coming, Mario. seconds at round number 11. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. Yeah! Now a three division world champion and the new WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta He was explosive when you was on the ropes. Everything yeah. else was good. But, but, but when he was on the rope, I could time him. Cause you, he just, you kept on catching Yeah, he yeah. just, he yeah. just, he going from right here to right here. Mm -hmm. That's why I made it so hard, cause he was just so tall. And then, once you took this away. By the time I was getting in there, he was like, I didn't know what he, he was gonna shoot or just sit right there. So when I was like, boom, it's like, what else to do? Treat you the body. Oh, I caught him with a bite. Boom! <laughs> he hit him right the sword plate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he hit my team. Look at that. I ain't seen that since he was an amateur, man. Let us know when you gonna flip. Oh. Man, what was great? Grab your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show people. Yeah. He has heart. Heart of a warrior. Big Shaq. This piece of history right here, y'all. Well, yeah, man. Great job. Great job. Yeah. 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 Great job
job, bro. A lot of love. Oh, yes, sir. What's up, baby? Don't uh, work. Every time I step into the ring, I wanted to leave it all in there. And it was still a very proud night. This is more motivating than anything because I mean, I, I don't want to experience this again. I'll definitely be back. Hell of a fight. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a reason that the highest praise for a boxing match is not to call it a fight, but a war. Because the best battles transcend winners and losers and become tethered to something greater, more meaningful, more lasting. How did that power feel till you transfer into the heaviest weight of your career? You seen it, Dean? Yeah. <laughs> what you see is not what you see. Smart, there you go. There you go. On a transformative night in Atlanta, two warriors transfixed a worldwide audience. And in a crucible of will, both proved that size doesn't matter as much as heart. I definitely was nervous the whole night because I didn't know if I catch him, would I hurt him? Or if he catch me, would he hurt me? Even Floyd was telling me to press him, but I'm like, I don't know, like, I don't want to get caught, you know, so. I said, pick it up. And show me you great. I said, show me you great. Yeah. I have always said it doesn't matter whether I'm hurt, whether it's round one, round 12, I'm a dangerous fighter because I'm going to get up and continue on fighting. I'm always willing to go out on my shield. It's not often that a boxer wins fans when he loses. Rarer still that in defeat, he proves he belongs. I just had to catch him. He was tough. It's not often that a boxer grabs so forcefully the highest of expectations, realizing the prophecy his mentors long ago laid out for him and extending his kingdom beyond. As long as he keep winning, there's no limit to how far we can go. Yeah.